Personally, if I leave you holding the bag, <laughs> traitor! <laughs> this was supposed to be a great prank day. Every detail was worked out. Well, almost. My brother is such a show-off. Check this one out, ladies! Andy! Andy! <gasps> you okay? What's wrong? Oh! Oh! It hurts! It hurts! still be mad at me. She usually boils for a couple of days after I nail her with a prank. So I'm thinking she's up to something. There you are, dear brother. This is for you. What's the catch? <laughs> Don't be paranoid. I'm just trying to be a good sister and share. <laughs> Andy Larkin, the greatest prankster in the world, I know how the human mind works. Always expect to be re-pranked after you prank. <sighs> there he goes! I told you we called you morons! Aren't you gonna do something about it? You bet we are! We're gonna moron him to bits! <laughs> like you, you know, said. Hey, Larkin! You can run, but you can't hide! It's creaming time! Get off! Yow! What's with Larkin? We didn't even, you know, slug him yet. Ow! Ow! It kills! It burns! Andy, what's wrong? G you're hurt. He's not hurt. He's just one big faker. Ah! G the agony! Stop it! Ah! How? Ah! How can you be so heartless? Ah! <laughs> I... Uh, it was because of his prank before. I thought he was trying to pull another fast one. I didn't mean to. How do you kick someone in the ankle and say you didn't mean to? Come on, Andy. We gotta get you checked out. Ow. 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 Huh? Ow. <laughs> uh, ow! Don't touch it there! Ow! No, please! No more! It's too much! Stop! Stop! Doctor, please! Can't you see he's in pain? I only took off his shoe. And it almost killed me. 
Can you wiggle your toes? Ow! Move your foot about. Ow, ow! Well, it's not broken. It feels broken. He'll need plenty of bed rest. How long before he's up and running? From the apparent severity of the pain... You got that right. I'd say he should stay off it for about a week. A week? Huh? Oh, if only Jen hadn't kicked me. You kicked your brother? When I was down. Like on the ground? This is most unacceptable. I know Andy is sometimes, well... Kickable? That wasn't what I was going to say. As punishment, you're going to be responsible for helping Andy get well. What? Me? Be his nurse? Nurse Jen. Kind of rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Oh, Nurse Jen, can I have some water? Oh, Nurse Jen, can you fluff my pillow? Oh, Nurse Jen, can you swab my toes? Mom! Dad! You, you can't! We just did! <gasps> now, Jen, you did aggravate the injury. So, how's the prankmeister? Oh! Ooh, sounds bad. Does it hurt? No way, partner! You mean you've been faking it all along? And the Oscar goes to... Andy Larkin, the world's greatest prankster! So, explain to me what's going on. Simple. After you've been pranked for a prank you did, you of course have to re-prank. Is there no end to this madness? You bet there is! Prank 736-34. No, you can't be serious. Not prank 736-34. I've never been more serious in my life. From the comfort of my own bed, I'm going to fill beans and burger with bubbles. But it'll take so much prep, so much planning, so much material. How are you going to pull this off from your bed? With a little help from a friend? No way. I'm usually in for anything, but not prank 736-34. Okay. Maybe not a friend, but a sister. Please elaborate. The best pranks are those that can be blamed on someone else. Now, here I am, hurt and helpless in bed. And I've got a sister who's basically been ordered to do everything I want. So? You'll get Jen to gather all the supplies. And by doing so, she'll get blamed for the prank because there'll be all these witnesses who've seen her buying the materials. You are a god. Andy, <sighs> it's Lori. Can I come in? No. Oh. If you must. I brought your homework. Are you okay? You bet I'm okay. I'll tell you, there's nothing like a little sympathy to get some attention from your woman. I will be, with your help. I told Mr. Hutchins I'd bring your homework every day. Every day? Until you're all better. <laughs> From what your big bad sister did to you. Whatever. Mom and Dad want to know if there's anything I can get you. This is going to be the best week of my life. Well, as a matter of fact, uh, there are a couple of things. You might want to make a list. <laughs> Special delivery. Now, where should you put it? I don't think you want to ask me that question. Jen, remember. Huh? 
is it okay if I move in until you're better? It's time to get busy. Oh, Nurse Jen! Yoo-hoo! You've got to be kidding! I have to get all this? It would be so helpful of you. But if you don't want to, I guess I could ask Mom and Dad. N no! I'll start getting this junk for you tomorrow. What do you need a vacuum pump for, anyway? School science project. <laughs> what? Lori's very kindly offered to bring me my homework all week, and it'd be nice if tomorrow we had a quiet place to work together. Maybe in the garden, so I could get some fresh air? Some refreshments would be nice, too, and flowers. <laughs> Lori likes flowers. <sighs> Ain't life grand. <laughs> it's really nice of you to help Andy like this, Lori. It's my pleasure, Mrs. Larkin. I, I feel bad he's hurt. I know Andy can be a handful sometimes, but... He's kind of cute when he's all defenseless. Most men are. Wow, Andy. <laughs> What's all this? Hi, Lori. I just want to show my appreciation for you coming over and helping me with my homework. <laughs> it's nice of you to spend time with me. Oh, I didn't know you were so thoughtful. That's me, thoughtful Andy Larkin. Always thinking. Truffle? You. That wouldn't be possible. Uh, and he said massaging is therapeutic. <laughs> oh, 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 I have no doubt. If I break my leg next time, you could hear the sound of wedding bells. <laughs> you certainly have your hands full, Jen. Bleach. What else have you got there? Detergent, piping, setting up a new washing machine? Not quite, Mr. Hutchins. I'm just helping out my brother. I see. How is Andy? I can't believe I'm saying this, but I kind of miss him at school. It's so quiet when he's not around. He's making up for it at home, believe me. I'm running around like a chicken with its head cut off getting stuff for him. Well, I'm sure he appreciates it. You're a good sister helping nurse him back to health. Nurse Jen. For full impact of prank 736-34, I need to pack beans and burger with bodies. More precisely, the bodies belonging to the kids from school. How do you plan on doing that? Prepare to be enlightened. <laughs> If you ring that thing again, I'll shove it! Jen! What can I do for you, dear brother? I was just thinking how much I'm missing all my friends. Hmm. What friends? I'd sure like to see them. Spit it out, Andy. What do you want me to do now? I was wondering if you could organize a little Get Well Andy party at the Beans and Burger? Why don't you... It sure would make me feel better after my injury you caused. Who do you want me to invite? Why would I go to a get-well party for Andy Larkin? I told him that would be people's reaction, but... I'd be happy to go. Andy's been so sweet the past few days, he hasn't pulled a prank at all. Maybe the injury you caused, Jen, has made Andy a new man. And I like him. And I like him. A new man? This is too good to be true. That's what she said. But she's going to be at Beans and Burger. What'll she say when she gets sudsed along with everybody else? I'm afraid I can't repeat it. Perhaps you should put the brakes on this craziness before she finds out you're behind it. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. 
Nah, prank 736-34 is too far along. Too perfect. A masterpiece for moi. A pure artiste de prank. Besides, Jen's gonna get blamed for it. And if I make sure Lori's out of the beans and burger when the bubbles hit, I'll be like a hero. Your dedication is inspiring. Someone's got to do it. Andy, Lori's on her way up with your homework. The perfect ending to a perfect day. Okay, I just hope I have the strength. <laughs> the party starts in 20 minutes. Equipment assembled? Check. It's on the roof near the air duct. <sighs> then we're set. Look at this. I've been practicing my I'm almost healed but still in pain walk for the party. What do you think? Amazing. But have you figured how to get Lori out of Beans and Burger before I flip the switch? We'll synchronize our watches, and just before the suds flow, I'll ask Lori to step outside so I can sincerely and deeply thank her for all the help this week. You the man. Everyone together now? You the man. <laughs> I didn't know you had so many friends. Ah, there's nothing like the offer of free food to bring out the masses. That's the only reason I came. It's time. Well, <laughs> maybe not the only reason. Ow! Oh, oh! Well, if it isn't Get Well Boy, happy to see all your friends. Yes, and I can't thank you enough, Jen. Despite having caused my severe injury, you're a pretty good sister. Any chance you'll have a complete recovery soon? It's close at hand. Lori, I was wondering, I have something I'd like to tell you, and it's kind of noisy in here. Uh, can we step outside for some privacy? Sure. Here, let me help you. <gasps> How's that? Perfect. The vacuum pump draws the soap and water mixture from barrel A into barrel B to interact with the bleach and the dry ice, which then creates spewing bubbles that'll pour into the ventilation shaft. Yeah! We have liftoff! Lori, I want to thank you for helping me through this difficult week. I felt your pain. Well, at least one of us did. Thanks to you, it was bearable. I really appreciate it. I enjoyed spending time with you, Handy. When you stop all those foolish pranks, you're kind of charming. Only... kind of? Well, okay. A, a lot charming. <laughs> oh boy, this is it. I'm about to lock lips with Lori. I only hope I don't start giggling. <laughs> Lousy timing, but check, please. <laughs> this looks positive. You, you did this. Moi? But how? I've been home in bed all week. How could I possibly have created a washing machine out of the beans and burger? <laughs> Actually, I saw Jen buying the materials required for pulling off a prank like this. Moi? I mean, me? You've got to be kidding. I, I, I didn't do this. I swear it. Down with the larkins! They're just not good Ow! people. Ow! Oh, I can't believe it. You did it again. You're so, so cruel. Jen, must you keep punishing your brother this way? Poor baby. Does it hurt? Not any... Wait a minute. The wrong ankle is bandaged. It was your right one that was hurt before. Uh, I, I'm sure you're wrong. I, I mean... I'm that's... sure I'm not. I should know I spent the last week massaging it. <laughs> <laughs> right ankle. Left ankle. Maybe the next time I should really hurt myself so I don't forget. You didn't even have a hurt ankle. You got me to set up this prank. You and your retarded little sidekick, you creep! Ugh! Ow! That hurt! Really? You 
You ain't felt nothing yet. Catch that jerk! Hey, Lorkin, you get your butt Ow. out here! Ow! So, this is just about when you came in. Isn't it amazing how the Wheel of Fortune can change? Just a minute ago, I was about to smooch with the girl of my dreams and pull off the prank of the year. And now... They're really mad, Andy. Yeah, yeah. Ow, I know. Ow, and yes, ow. I will mind if you, ow, leave me holding the, yeah, bag. Tough. Ow, traitor. 